today I'm going to be teaching you guys about mining. The best places to mine are either an asteroid field or the asteroid belt. You can also find stray asteroids around the system and inside the sun, but mining inside the sun is very time consuming and in my opinion not really worth your time because of the damage you can receive. I suggest having a separate ship for mining because of all the requirements of storage and whatnot that are going to weigh down any combat ship and the extra parts like factories you'll be needing if you want to become a manufacturing ship which is essential really you should not be having a mining ship that isn't like a mothership. For mining you don't really need any more than eight lasers in fact that can be a little overkill you might you're also going to run into issues when, when you start mining something by pushing G and mining away your lasers might die out because their crew is going to prioritize gathering and salvaging and mining themselves over giving energy to the lasers. So what you need to do is go in and edit your crew. Make sure your supply battery to the mining laser is higher than the salvage and mine. Another issue you might run into is crews sitting in weapons and not actually helping out when they should be mining. So if you want to get people to focus on their uh, picking up stuff and whatnot, you can increase this. Or when you're mining like I do, I just turn all the weapons off out of habit, but it does make more sense to increase it. Now let's actually go and mine. You might notice that it takes crew forever to go out and get to the things they want to pick up. What you can do is move your ship and push the asteroid as you mine. That way the dropped pieces are closer and your crew has less distance to travel. You can also start pushing in the direction you want to go towards something else. Save you time. Just give it another shove. All right, now let's talk about what you do once you've got the mining part done. You notice all the resources just got thrown anywhere. You could try having them thrown closer to where they're going to use, in this case, the steel smelter. But to me, that's not really something you want to worry about too much. That let's talk about our factories. You really don't need more than one of a certain factory type. In fact, I don't suggest carrying the ammo factories until and missile factories and whatnot until you are actually using that. Don't build them into your ship. It's going to be a waste of time. And you never need more than one because you're going to be constantly be producing and you're not always going to be mining. If you want to be able to control something to make sure it doesn't overproduce, for example, your hyper coils are going to consume your regular coils, you can turn off the factories the same way you turn off like a missile or something. Another thing important is your replacement. You'll notice this placement, the steel factory gets 100% buff. And that's the only factory that really is going to be limited by size. So you might be tempted to make two steel factories, but by placing them in this order, you get the double buff. So you don't really need to have two. And also it fits very compactly, the same height as two storages, so it can fit into your ship without much. I mean, you can see I had a little bit of issue on the side. For the iron factory, because it produces so quickly, where you're gonna want is for the iron to only be assigned to this position right here, right next to the factory. It doesn't matter where it is, they're gonna pull it into those positions because they belong there over an unassigned position. And then have the storages feed the factory. So the factory is only receiving iron from these local storages. The reason you do this is because the factory can only fit, what is it, like 20 iron in it? And if 20 guys try carrying it all the way from over here, it's gonna take a long time and the factory is gonna be sitting not being functioning. So we have as a bigger backup over here they bring it here, and then it goes into here. It's a storage uh, segue, a buffer, if you will. It's very important because of the, the high production rate of a factory, factory, especially a factory that's buffed 100%. The factory only runs when there's somewhere marked for its resource to go. So notice a lot of my factories aren't moving right now. That's because I don't have anything marked for the run on. If I had a factory, like the ammo factory, but we need to mark ammo over here and then maybe the ammo factory start producing. Also, people will move from around the ship, so it can get a little chaotic. One more thing I want to cover, airlocks. You'll notice in the ship how I have two airlocks here, two airlocks here, and there are no more airlocks. 
which might not make sense because they have crew all over the place. Why wouldn't they have airlocks all over the place? It's actually because the crew don't walk to the nearest airlock. They walk as close as they can to where they're trying to go and, and they use the airlock that's as close to there. So if I were to uh, have an airlock over here and try picking up a resource, all the crew would walk all the way over there before they use that airlock. They wouldn't use this one over the ones down here, which would make them travel faster. Let me show you that in action. You'll notice that no crew are using the airlocks on the side. They're all traveling the length of the ship to use the two in the front. This is especially bad if you don't have highways and corridors to make things move faster. Thanks for watching. Let me know how I can improve my videos and please support the channel.